I almost got arrested. They say they are very powerful people and uh, they can deal with me. The reason why they were not happy and they felt like I was interfering is because I'm Zimbabwean and you're Ghanaian so they felt like I'm interfering because you're Ghanaian and I'm Zimbabwean but I, at the end of the day I just feel like Africa to Africa, one African country to another African country why should there be any differences like oh this African is from this part of Africa and this African is from the other part of Africa crazy bro <laughs> What happened though? So when we go to the first counter and um, they took Joe passports, which he is a Kenyan, and um, they were asking him where are you going to stay, but because he doesn't know the address, I just told the other guy this is the address and he was like, no, you have to have it in your head, off head. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't have to have it because I, I don't know, this is my first time. He said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Ghana. He said, bring your passport, follow me. Why, am I, why are you taking my passport? He said, follow me. We got to the office. Why are you in Zimbabwe? I said, for tourism purpose. Where is the money you came with to do the tourism? I said, ah, why are you asking me for money? I don't have to hold money for tourism. I have money on my card. He said, then write credit card. But you, I'll make sure they deport you. I'll make sure, I will write it that they deport you. Why would you even tell an African that I'm going to make sure they deport you? See, I, I think I need to address the AU, you know, I need to take some time and address the AU. I mean, they've established the AFTA in Ghana, and I believe that it's not functioning. Africans cannot even move from one African country to another. Anytime you travel, they just harass you. See, this is my guy. I met him at the airport. We used to know each other from uh, Shenyang, and he even wanted to help me. I always meet people at the airport. Like, oh, I watch your videos, and here we yes. are. I mean, um, we know each other for so long, yeah? For so long, bro. You remember in Shenyang? Apparently, they want to arrest him for helping me. Bro, yeah. that was crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I almost got arrested because I was just trying in to help country. you. In your own country? Yeah. They say I'm interfering and, um, yeah, they wanted to arrest me. They say they are very powerful people and uh, they can deal with me. Imagine, it's my first time coming back home after three years. And I met you guys and I know you guys are here for the good cause. So I wanted to help you guys and yeah, I almost got arrested. This is me. This just is... because they have power they, and they can do it. So they wanted to arrest me. The crime is just trying to help you guys since you, you've traveled and you've arrived in my motherland. Man, I'm so sorry, man, no, for, no, make, so for making thing. you go through and, all of and that. And I don't, I don't so know, I don't okay. know like okay. what people have to do with the West Africans. Because let, you know, let, let me see Job was the one right. who got there first and he's a Kenyan, but they put his passport aside and they were interrogating me. They told him to go out and they put his passport down. And now the questions were all direct to me. So I don't know what they have to do with West Africa. They, they were ahead of me. So I got in there as soon as he saw me. said, where are you from? I said, I'm from Ghana. He took my passport. <laughs> he took my passport and said, so join them. Man, this is ridiculous, man. I used to talk about this over and over again, like, why do Africans treat their own this way? I mean, are you guys encouraging travel, traveling in Africa? No, because now you're telling us that, see, when you go in there, there are more no, Chinese careful, people, because if, if they see you guys filming, <laughs> you might go for round two. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, I've seen Chinese people, other nationalities entering Zimbabwe freely, but as soon as we got there, they said, no, you are not welcome. I really hate to do videos like this because anytime I do such videos, people call me names. I mean, one of the names that a lot of people calls me is the attention seeker. He's here once again to seek attention. If I need attention, I can just remove my clothes, move in town, and definitely I'll get attention that I want. But that's not the attention that I'm looking for. What I'm asking for is please allow Africans to explore their own continent. Because anytime we go out to do videos like this, anytime we spend so much money to travel from one African country to another, it's just one common goal.
to change the narrative about Africa, to encourage more Africans to travel within Africa, to encourage more Africans to invest in their own continent. Listen, I, I've been through a lot in terms of my African travels and I hardly even talk about it sometimes. I have been deported from Uganda. I've also been deported from Zambia. I've been arrested in Kenya. I've been denied entry to Mozambique, also denied entry to South Africa. Listen, there are a lot of things that I don't even talk about. In Somali, I was detained for nine good hours. You see, there was even a brawl at the airport. Whilst I was still there, you know why? They were fighting because one immigration officer is saying that he's not going to allow me to enter Somali. Another guy is saying that this guy is here for a good cause, so allow him to enter. At the end of the day, it just caused what? A chaos in the airport. I never even talked about it because I'm not here for that attention. But I feel like if I don't talk about these things, who else? I mean, Africa got a great potential to be one of the top destinations in the world. I mean, if Africans can explore their own continent, if Africans can invest their money in another African country, when, when Gambia becomes better, Ghana is better. When Nigeria becomes greater, Ghana is greater. This is what I want so many Africans to think about. I know the, the aim of one Africa I don't know even if it will ever come to pass, but I believe that we can try. Because, listen, the continent belongs to Africans. This is what I want to tell you. And it's so sad to the extent that whenever you get to an African immigration point, as soon as they see you as an African, they don't believe that you can afford to explore your own continent. This is the saddest part of it all. So I just want to do this video to address the discrimination against Africans in Africa from airport, road borders, and the rest. Dear immigration officers, we are one of you. And whenever we come to your immigration point, respect us for who we are. Respect us that, oh, these are my own people coming to explore my own country. Don't see us, don't see us as your enemies. We are one of you. You know, we arrived in Zimbabwe and it was chaos because they don't see an African being able to afford to live in Africa. See, I could be traveling with diplomatic passport. Even when I was coming to Zimbabwe, I knew a minister who sent me a voice note that I could easily call the minister that this is what is up, I'm, I'm here in the country and they will just give me a green light for me to pass. But I'm not that type of guy. I need to travel like an ordinary African, to experience Africa like an ordinary African so that I'll be able to tell my story as an ordinary African. Enough is enough. Allow Africans to explore their own continent. You can do your job without discriminating. You can do your job without looking down upon your fellow African. This is simple. This is the message that I just want to share. I'm not going to say Zimbabwe is this, this and that, this and that. I'm not here for that. But I'm just here to let you guys know that we are Africans. And... We believe in our continent and we are here to explore our continent. Thank you. But yeah, I wouldn't use these people to judge the entire people of Zimbabwe. I'm excited already and I really want to have fun. We are in Zimbabwe to show the beauty of Zimbabwe and also celebrate Zimbabwean excellence. If you know anywhere that you think we need to go, leave it as a comment. Or if you know any Zimbabwean who is doing great to change the narrative of Zimbabwe in his own way, let us know. Write that as a comment 
and we definitely gonna tell his or her story my name is watermaya your one and only annoying village boy from ghana don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to be part of this awesome channel